Tuburini, Arabic, verb meaning one, I hope you bury me. Two, expressing the desire to die before a lover so as to never live another day without them. When he tells me he loves me for the first time, he doesn't say he loves me. He says instead, Tuburini, this love in my language is an earthquake. One that white girls will etch misspelled and misunderstood on their shoulder blades. Wanting for this beautiful kind of love, this funeral kind of love. This is how the children of martyrs love. With sweltering heat and dry tongues, exchanging oral history through desert breath, noosing together love and death. This is a love that must be trained by our mothers thick knit, teasing spoonfuls of mashed yuca into our mouths, rewarding us with this word. Tuburini. This word never fit right in my mouth. Years of leaving lands and peoples and ancestors burned in the process met. There are too many skeletons here already. So when I look at him, I say, Anabahibbak. I love you. And he replies, Tuburini. This love is a sinking ship overflowing with limbs. All the salt in my blood makes it hard for me to breathe. So I say no. He, wanting to convince me of its truth, says again, Tuburini, and I say no. You can't love me just because you're desperate to love a country. We may both be things of earth and soil dripping with life. I can understand how you confuse a woman for a state. What are we, besides imposed borders that men can cross if they wish? But no, no, you can't love me because you learned to love from men who died for their countries, who loved so hard they didn't step aside when caterpillar bulldozers came, who cling to keys like wedding rings. No, because I am not a home. You can't rest inside my body. There's no running water here to cleanse you of your sins. I am just a woman. I have sins of my own. He replies, Bastoporini. And I say, Mabomutfik. I don't die in you. I'm a persistent body, a prayer that floats. I'm a flying thing, a fleeing thing, and I refuse to live in the third stage of grief without ever looking tragedy in the eye. I won't bargain for more time. Exchange the wrinkle in your nose for another hour, half moon scar above your lip for a rainstorm. I won't bury the things that I love most. I won't build a cemetery in my body. There are too many roots here. This funeral kind of love. It's a cruel and selfish love. It's a love that says there's always a war to win, casualties to count, bullets to breathe. No. I don't want a love like this where chimneys are pushed on my back and he, unaware of all of this smoke around us, says again, Tuburini. I hold my breath so tightly I can't stand to say anything back. These ashes dug from my flesh remind me that dying is easy. Burial is not. 